Hi, Mary. This is Liz. Liz is a hairstylist. She's awesome. I've been doing hair for 12 some years, and I work in Beverly Hills at Ramirez Tran, and love what I do. Let me just tell you guys, I feel like you have transformed my life oh. through my hair. I am not kidding. You make my hair lay how it's supposed to lay. Thank you. So she is teaching me how to do a French twist today, and I feel like it's super hard because I have a lot of hair. I do you have a ton of hair. <laughs> to know how to do that. And I also have always been super confused with backcombing, which I know sounds really dumb, oh, but yeah. always looks super ratty. And I feel like you really cleared all that up for me today. We're gonna do a French twist. How we're gonna do that is do it in two pieces because she has a ton of hair as you can see. You wanna get this whole top piece out of the way. We get big bobby pins. And what you wanna do is over direct. So to what does over side. direct mean? To move the hair to one side. It's almost like a like a side ponytail. I'm getting these big bobby pins and I'm just putting it in the center of her head. And it's just to hold it. In and place. I can really feel that when you do it, like Yeah. It helped hold everything uh -huh. in place. So that So did you you came up from the top there? Yeah, so now I did one from the bottom, one from the top, and then as smoothly as you can, you wanna twist this piece in. Now I'm gonna do some little bobby pins, and they're like little guys, to do the bottom piece. And you see how it's dragging a little bit? But this is pretty secure, it's already holding. Yeah. But we don't want it to look all droopy on the bottom. So now you get little guys to do the detail work. And then I'm putting another bobby pin, big bobby pin, because she has a ton of hair. She wants more height, so I'm gonna do this section. Now I'm gonna tease so okay. that we get a little height. You get the teasing brush and you just kind of from the mid down. And you can see it gets a little frizzy, but it's gonna create. Can you do it from the back? I wouldn't go this way, I'd go this way. No, you wanna go from the back because you want the front to be smooth. Yeah. yeah. So then you're actually gonna do another section. So, tucking it under, it's kind of like you're piecing it together with the bottom piece. So then you slowly put it together. So how many rows did you do out of the back home? I did three. Okay. And I think people just need to know, like, be mindful of what they're like trying to achieve. Do they want a lot of volume? Do they not? If they don't, that's cool. You don't have to do that many sections or don't do any at all. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid to use bobby pins. They are your friend. Use them. And then you just start playing with it till you get it to where you want. And this is like a really easy trick is that you get like a rat tail comb and you go inside, but you have to be careful not to like undo other things but you start lifting it from the root. Like, you can feel it, right? Yeah. And you see, like, there's, like, teasing under there. You pick it up. See how it got bigger? Yeah. Rad, right? I just feel like this is something now I feel like I have skills to know how to play around you with do and it. do it. You could do it. And I just think it looks really cool and it's like, yeah. it's fun. And I like that you could kind of like, if it was like falling down, like you could put a headband on. Yeah, so we're gonna put a little bow. Ta -da. We threw this bow on to, you know, decorate, accessorize. And also if you have any bobby pins or things maybe you wanna hide, well this is a great way to hide it. She's the master is what I'm <laughs> trying to say.